Okay. So, um, for those of you who might have missed uh, the first part of Simulacra 1, which we started a few days ago, um, in this story, we play as someone who has the the possession of Paul Paul's phone. Paul is some kind of um, software engineer, and um, he believed in paranor the paranormal. I guess you could say, including aliens. You're so caught up in the story, you missed your SR placement next to the captain. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, I'm sorry. It, it just put as close as possible. Aliens! Um, yeah, and he... Yeah, so... Uh, there's some kind of weird eyeball symbol popping around. Um, they took one of our co-workers. I think his name was, like, Will? I don't remember. Um, and we're working with a journalist named Ruby to figure out why everyone in this town is going missing. I thought that, that you wrote Shady Fingies, but yeah, Shadow Fingies coming after any, everyone. Shady would have been a true story, too. But as close as I could, like a creepy story. <laughs> yeah, lots of reading from me. But yeah, let's, uh, let's continue. Welcome back, Paul. All right. Um, okay, where did we leave off here? Notes one. Hmm. Uh, Starry-Eyed and Pet Watch. Did we have something for this? Yeah. Thomas's dog accident. Likely make a cup of tea. Enjoy your tea. Oh, it didn't sa did it not save? Okay, so if I recall correctly, you start at the grind, Greenfields Park, and then bus stop, yeah? Connect? Yep, okay, so now we unlocked new mail. I don't recall, did we? The cost of community center. Committee is organizing a peaceful sit in protest at Cloud Sk Square. Previously, Stone Creek Square. Join us against Stone Creek's remodel as a resort town. Lobby the town council. Blah, 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 blah. Bringing your own signs is highly encouraged. Oh, our own signs, eh? You mean that eyeball thing that infects people? Uh, is there a. Oh, this. Atlas Shutdown. Oh, I think we read this. So this is an email from Paul to Thomas telling him to shut down Atlas. Thomas is like, no, we need to like have Atlas because we're making big, big buckos. Um, it seems like this symbol that we are seeing around town is infecting people. And Atlas is the perfect way to spread that symbol to everyone. <gasps> Gwen, how are you? Whose phone is this? Why am I snooping? So this phone, th this time in the game, the phone was given to us by Paul, um, in order to solve the mystery. In the previous Simulacra games, usually you just like find the phone, but the the phone was given to to a journalist named Ruby, and then Ruby gave it to us, her assistant, and we are trying to find out what happened to Paul, and the other people who've gone missing in this town. Looks like we have a new contact. Is it this person? Addison Call? Let's see if we can ring them. Haven't been able to call anyone so far. Okay. Surf's a paradox hour. A clue to Griff's fate. What is this? Do I have to read all of this? No way. Oh no, there's no way. No. I'm helping. You're what? 
All right, let's see. Chat. Oh, we have messages from Thomas. Uh, let me read them. Did we read these last time? Oh yeah, we did. We read these last time. So let's let's respond to Thomas now. Is this Thomas? After days of no contact, that's all you have to say? I don't really know what the hell you think you're doing, Paul, but you better start talking. Now. This isn't Paul. I think that's what we said last time. Are you serious? For God's sake. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who is this? What did you do to Paul? Uh... He left his phone with Ruby Myers. Ruby Myers. Oh, yeah, yeah, we said this last time. Ruby Myers of all people. Shh. If he wanted to punish me, he went to the right person. I'm not dense. This pertains to Jeff. Mira is clean. I beg to differ. I like that voice. Oh, no. Did Paul pay his telecom bills? Is this why his calls, his calls are dropping? Maybe. I know. Thomas was like, he's like, oh, Paul finally texted me back. I've been waiting at my phone all this time. I beg to differ. Oh, uh, let's show him the video. For those of you who didn't see the video, we'll just play it again. This was one of our coworkers who never went, left work and just sat at his office desk forever. I think. My contact is inside out. There's our shadow hands. All right. That's our video. How? How did you get this? Was it Paul? He was raving about Jeff, and then we had a fallout. I never expected to go him to go behind my back like this. Mira can't take any bad press right now. I'll answer your questions if you agree to keep this private. Understand? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, uh, was the shadow in that video? That's one thing I don't have an answer for. The night crew never saw anyone in the office but Jeff. Whoever it is, they knew our blind spots. If you're the gullible sort, like most people in this town, they'd try to tell you it's a ghost. I hope you're smarter than that. Tell me more about the video. Jeff was in charge of a big project, had a lot on his shoulders. More when Paul started to lose focus. He requested overtime. I said no. I'd negotiate a project timeline instead. Oh, I'd negotiate the project timeline instead. Contrary to belief, I'm not that cruel. Clearly, he breached that. When I found out, we came to an arrangement and I shifted his hours. <laughs> Sitting at his work desk forever, just like real life. I feel like that. Okay, so, so you knew he was here at night. I did. It's unconventional, but it was all by the books. Found out when I had a late night of my own, he was at his computer, staring, like in the video. Thought he was zoned out from being overworked, so I sent him home. Just to be sure, I checked the logs. He was here every night for almost two months. Look, I fully cooperated with the police on Jeff's disappearance. What more do you want? You and Paul had a fallout. We had disagreements before, all business. Before his emergency, he warned me to shut down the social media plugin on Atlas for safety. Cited some security breach. Of course I refused. Paul panicked. He even threatened me. That was the last time we spoke. Why does he want it shut down? Or why does he want to shut it down, rather? 
I don't know, he didn't explain, though I'm sure he knew the answer. He said there was something spreading, like a virus. To be safe, we did a full security sweep, and then everything came back green. Look, I built this company from nothing. Paul's one of our greatest assets, and I grant him a lot of leeway. But this, I need more, good, more than good faith. Mira Tech is my life's work. Let's let's threaten him. I could make headlines with this video. Why? What's your goal in this? To ruin me or to find Paul? I can tell you now, but you can't do both. Besides, I answered all your questions. Mira Tech is not my num is my oh sorry. Mira Tech is my number one priority. I will not let it go down. Believe it or not, it's a critical pillar of this town's development. Um, what will you do to save it? I don't see how social media is a critical pillar. Hmm. Well, let's keep up with the threats. What will you do to save it? Sigh, you're as stubborn as they come. That shadow in the video? Apparently that isn't the first time it was spotted. It's not, quote, natural, end quote. I found someone who can identify what it is exactly. Thought you didn't believe in that stuff. No, 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 let's, let's go on. Let's not make it difficult for him to come out with it. So, you're looking for this ghost, right? There's this mystic in town. They call themselves the Mistress of the Night. What if I call myself the Mistress of the Night? I bet a lot of women call themselves the mistress of the night. Could they not have come up with anything more original? What the? Nonsense, woo-woo, magic, stone creek stuff. How convenient. An, uncon an uncontactable contact. I'm getting there. Mm-hmm. My team found this video when I asked them to scrub Paul's work machine. It's a means of contacting your mystic. From the chatter on our servers, they'll have your answers. Uh, what else did you find on Paul's computer? Nothing I wouldn't trust with- oh, nothing I would trust with you. Before you go guilt-tripping me, it doesn't involve Paul.
taking photos and downloading files. How could he be so careless? I risked my career for this. They're going to start an investigation. Mira can accuse me of leaking company secrets. Do you hear me? I could get into legal trouble. Oh, this is the front desk person at Mira. Okay. You never cared about what happened to me, did you? Just take what you want and leave. I hope it's worth it. I hope whatever you find destroys the same way you dis oh destroys you the same way you destroyed me. Um What? What happened to her? What happened to her? I don't know what we did wrong. What did we do wrong? Your gladiator just hit twenty? Nice. Nice, nice. Excite up. Uh tell Ruby we won't let anything happen to you. Um uh, yeah. Would, uh, let's just say we can fix this. Oh shit, she blocked me? Achievement unlocked. Corporate espionage? Oh no. Okay. Rook, you there? Please don't go falling for Thomas's Pizza Fridays and Ping Pong Table Cell. Ruby, what did you do at Mira? Whoa, what's got you so worked up? I did nothing more than we agreed. The only thing that I the only thing I touched was her computer, and that was no issue since her login credentials were intact. Wasn't much of a covert operation. A tablet baby could pull it off. Satisfied with the report? She said we ruined her life. I've gotten worse. Dude, Ruby is savage. I know it doesn't feel good to hear, Brooke. It might not be as serious as she makes it out to be. Don't let this one inconvenience stop you. The story takes precedent over everything. I made that clear from the start. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, why is Ruby so savage? Now I don't want to help her. Maybe we can get Ruby killed. Maybe we can do something... And Ruby will die at the end. That would be great. That clap back though. Dude, what a what a savage. What a total savage. Okay. Um If this is who you are, I can see why you're stuck here. Ooh. That's not true. It's not. You. Forget it. You made your point. No promises, but at least- Oh, but I'll at least confirm what happened to Morgan. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, okay? Now, let's go- Let's get on with Thomas. How did the talk go? Um... Dedicated to Mira. In other words, he has something to lose and he'll do everything to protect it. Yeah, that's expected. T took you a bit to get back to me. How cooperative was he? What did you find out? Um. Jeff's fate might be tied to his work. Paul wanted Thomas to shut Atlas down. How brave of him. Suppose we know how that went seeing as we've been using the app. Why did Paul want it removed? There was a virus breach of s or, s or breach of some sort. Okay, let's ask that. Hi, Papaya, how are you? Yeah, he's making pirate noises in my chat. Hmm, unlike Miratech's ground operations, Atlas is secure. It would take someone with skill to execute a hack against the app. Someone like Paul or Jeff? Now that's a theory. Jeff's fate might be tied to his work. So they're complicit. Shocker. What were they hiding? What was Jeff doing for them? Um, Jeff's work involved promoting content on Atlas. Thomas knew he was struggling and he encouraged it. What are these noises?
In other words, Mira is controlling what people see when they log on. That scheming weasel. Him and the council, they want to control public perception. Suppress the negative reactions and rewrite this town, literally. This is why they kept everything related to Jeff a secret. Okay, we've got more on Jeff, Paul, and Atlas. What about that shadow? How long has he been disappeared? Who asked you to investigate? Maybe I should Google. No, 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 I can tell you. So I think they've been missing for a week. Um, Paul, who also worked for the Atlas company, or Miratech, gave Ruby the, his cell phone, went missing, and then Ruby gave the cell phone to us. We're like her assistant, I guess. And we're helping her investigate what happened to Paul. And Paul left like a video that was like, you have to figure out, you know, the story. And that was pretty much it. Scheming weasel. Little leprechaun. Uh, okay. Thomas claims he doesn't know, but he sent me this. And we're going to send you the video. Mistress of the night. Ruby, you watched that for like 0.5 seconds. This is a sad attempt at publicity if I ever saw one. Can't believe Thomas's lead. Can we believe Thomas's lead on this? Uh, this video is floating around Atlas in secret circles. Interesting. Could this be why Paul wanted to shut Atlas down? Huh. I heard about people messing around with the images and location description on Atlas to meet a seer. Could be connected. I still need you, need more time at Mira, so I'll let you do your thing in the meantime. Find this mitch mistress. You've been at Mira this whole time? Yes, which makes our earlier conversation all the more awkward. I'll be extra careful. Now go. Wow, she's like gonna get arrested. All right, um, we have a new... I think that new contact was Morgan. Yep, it was. Sorry, Morgan. Can I call you? Nope, can't call Morgan. Notes, Ch -ch -ch feed. Pull Sam. Find Josie. Find Stone Creek. Can we unlock the final place? Starry-eyed. It must be that mistress one. Yeah. Complete. Cool. Seer Antiques. A meticulous collection of the night and of the past. A refusal to fade away. Wait. We unlock two new media? Sorry, what is this? Cardboard something, looking down cable car run, at the top of the rock, on top of the rock. Huh. Okay. What was the other new media? What is this? Uh, oh, Paul. Uh, hey, Ruby. This video may come as a surprise or not. Wait. I know we've had our differences. No, no, no. We've watched that. Um. Uh... Wait. Huh? Some initial thoughts about the symbol. Listen up, me. It's very possible that this symbol is a mark of resistance for Stone Creek. Every movement needs one. The town has a history of civil disputes, mainly between the council and the townsfolk. What if enough is enough? They're finally taking a stand to push back and reclaim Stone Creek. It'll be a fight I support, that's for sure. But still, it's... Being connected to the disappearances, it doesn't make sense to involve people who have no part of it. I mean, there are children who are among the lost. It couldn't be the town, no. If not us, what about... Aliens. Aliens? <laughs> they visited Called us it. before. Look at Abernathy Farms. We've listened to this. Although Aliens. Although back when the crop circles appeared, there weren't any stories of abduction. Okay. 
the mistress is away. Her domain is the night. I guess it's only 3.59 p.m., so I have to wait till, like, nighttime? How does time pass in this game? Those cassette icons, the nostalgia. Have I watched it on edibles? It's only two milligrams. This was made by a Singapore developer, wasn't it? I'm not sure. How does time work? I don't know. I don't actually know how time works. That's a good question. That's a great... That is a great question. How does time work? Okay, so we've we've technically we've unlocked everything. Um What's our current objective? Find a way to turn day into night on the mistress's website. Huh. Um Wait, where did her website go? Can I... Uh... Can I move this? I'd be like mistress of the day? No. Oh, what? What did I do? I clicked and I I just clicked it the same way I clicked everything else. At these beacons, snuff out the light. At these beacons, snuff out the light. What? So there's like a lighthouse. A school and a house? Is that in Atlas? Craner Peak Light Lighthouse, a constant light to rival the moon in the night. Oh, in the night sky. The Craner Peak Lighthouse has been functioning since it was built in nine oh, 1898, wavering in its responsibility to guide all souls and all beings safely to Stone Creek. Okay. Wait, what? Huh? Whoa. Oh. What? Craner Peak Lighthouse. Here they land. Settlers of Stone Creek. A journey fraught with misfortune and hardship would soon end in hunger if not for the beldam. With gifts of seeds and grain they begin. Fates weave together all for the chance of belonging. Okay, so I think we've turned this one to night and then we have to do... Would it be this? Okay. We turned. Wow. Okay. And then where's the? What was the last one? It's like a home. The Richardson house. Cool power motive. Power motive of the devil rooted in founding hearts long before her. A threat. Wield fear and paranoia. Cast her side to the end of damnation. Innocence drowns in shallow pools while malevolent, malevolent whispers surface to sour the earth and seal us to our fate. Okay, okay, cool. We did the thing. I was a Malaysian dev. I, I, I wasn't sure. I know a lot of the actors look like they're of Asian descent, but I wasn't sure. Looks like the Beldum was a homie until they murdered her. Yeah, yeah. Oof, it'd be like that. The mistress is away. Her domain is the night. Okay, let's reveal. You are wise to abide. The mistress is here. We got a phone number? Karen? 
Are you the mistress of the night? Well, look at them nails. No? Okay. Oh, okay. Let's listen to, uh, let's listen to Ruby first. She sent us an audio file. Rook, I got a tip from the sheriff's department about Morgan. They're going through with the arrest. Oh, no. She's in a tight spot. I... Look, it was a bad call, and I'm... We're almost at the end of it, okay? Ruby, say don't sorry! Have to do this any longer. Oh my god, Ruby cannot say sorry. Rude. Alright, let's see what Karen has to say. Yeah, Karen. I know it's not spelled like Karen with a K, but th this is definitely Karen. Through the dark you found me, Starlight. As fate would have it, there are others I need to tend to at the moment. But rest assured, our connection is strong. I will find my way back to you once matters are settled. Have patience. Ah, oh, how wonderful. The cards predicted I would have an inquisitive visitor today. Karen. Karen's a, a seer. We gotta give her a seer voice. I don't know. You were expecting me? I've been told you're a spiritualist or, or sorts. You're a hard woman to find. Apologies for the trouble, child. I heed on the side of caution at this uncertain time. Ridicule takes a toll on the being. So I'm only found to those who respect Stone Creek as much as myself. However, you chose to see me. I am Karen. Whether you seek answers from the stars or resolve from your fate, I will soothe you on your journey. Can we speak plainly? Yeah, can we? Oh, I assure you that I am. I might be extravagant in my delivery, but that has no effect on my sincerity. This isn't a business pitch or an act. I, am, I only assume when it's convenient. So please, state your purpose, child. I need your advice on this. And video. Ugh. Yeah, take a look at that, Karen. My word. I've heard murmurs of this shadow. Until now, I've not witnessed it with such clarity. Could you be Ruby? I have an acquaintance, Paul. He told me that the next person to submit proof of its existence would be sent by him. Uh, has this shadow appeared elsewhere? How do you know Paul? I'm not Ruby, but I work with her. When audiobook? Oh my gosh. It's like redeeming ASMR. State of nature of your medical emergency. Oh, state the nature of your medical emergency? <laughs> How curious. Despite her absence, I feel an energy about you. An aggressive compulsion towards an end. Whether it resides in you, Ruby, or something else entirely, I cannot entangle. You're absolutely sure that this footage is unaltered. What became of this man? Can't be kind. Uh, he vanished. Something took him. You know the shadow? What's happening to him in the video? An unwilling transformation. He was made into a host for that parasite. Like an insect under the grasp of a wasp, it needs him. In this state, he is a thrall, replicating and inflicting his disease. Yeah, we already knew that. Um, how do you know that, though? Uh, he vanished. Something took him. Then I believe claim would be the accurate word. The moment he ga gazed upon that symbol. Oh, the moment he gazed upon that symbol there, he was conscripted. This man didn't vanish. He was consumed. Killed. You know this shadow? Is it your friend, your homie, mistress of the night? Yes. A person was ruined. From their frayed remnants crawled this trespasser. This... Sorry, my dog. 
I think I think there's someone else. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yep. There. Thank you, River, for food. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate the food. This being is a manifestation of fault, pain, and a patient rage. A simulacrum to serve as a vessel to teach us penance. Amy, this is not your memory. Who, Amy? Who the heck is Amy? I mean, Doggo's bar K major. Uh, how do you, Amy? Did she, wait, who's Amy again? That was your Uber Eats? Are you sure? Because I just got a thing from Gubhub. Oh, no, no, it says soon. Okay. Amy, did she start this? No, it was the town who cast the first stone. Amy was its victim. She was an artist whose interpretation of our legends invoked a kinship to many. It was quite popular then. Even the council sought to work with her. But she was just a pawn for their agenda. Her work under them made a mockery of the town. Many felt betrayed. There was a lot of pushback. In the end, she was she was the one who lost. No one's heard from her since. All this because of some art? Can't you locate her? Why would she work with them? Yeah, why would she work with them? Can't you? Yeah, where is she? Tell us. Karen. It remains a mystery even I lack the foresight into. If I try, I don't sense Amy, but the burden she experienced. Taken form. It's why I'm certain that... It's why I'm certain what that figure is. You know, the town has had, repu had a reputation for being cursed. That was never true until Amy. She willed it. What is this? Excerpt on the practice of witchcraft in Stone Creek. Uh-huh. Scan. Summoning ritual. Re record of a book on witchcraft. The excerpt ref references some sort of ri summoning ritual. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh-huh. Perfect. Back to our, uh, conversation with Karen. Witchcraft? This game is evil. This game should be banned on Twitch. Too much witchcraft. Perhaps this is deserved, destined. You cannot persuade karmic will. Um, tell me how to stop this. You think Karen is one of those Irish names and it's pronounced Siren or something like that? You think so? It remi isn't like someone in Naruto named Karen with the same spelling? The red-headed girl with the glasses who's also in love with Sasuke and she's like a part of a Akatsuki or whatever the evil organization is. I feel like I remember too much about Naruto. Anyways. And anyways, I don't know. I don't watch that. Um. <laughs> hey, Rick Boss. How are you? Witchcraft equals cross minus stitching pentacles in their spine spare time. Huh? 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 I forgot most Naruto. I, I, I didn't. I watched so much Naruto. 1,000 episodes. <laughs> hey, it's hard to find hope. How are you stuttering in your text? The town has already lost its soul. Next, it will lose its people. Reaction upon reaction. To defeat this, you need an end. Amy is the key to this. You'll never get that time back. I don't want it back. I committed that time. I committed all of that time. What do you mean, the key? This malice, it leached itself onto Amy specifically. Her emotions, her experiences. I believe that if you learn more about her, you'll find a way to disrupt its work. Paul mentioned that he's done... His research on her kept it close to home. 
Unless the source of the, of the investigation, Paul, pops up, you'd best find it. I'm afraid our journey ends here, for the time being. Yeah, nothing wrong with anime. I watch a lot of anime. I do watch a lot of anime. Uh, before I go, could I have a reading? You've been a great help. Not sure if I believe this, but thanks. No, 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 give me my reading. I want more payment. Blessings. This is a surprising request. It would bring me pride to. What do you wish to know? I don't watch anything dubbed. Subs only. I can't. I refuse to watch anything dubbed. If it, if my only option is to watch it dubbed, I'll just read the manga. Blessings. Can I trust Ruby? Is Paul okay? How will this end? I don't know, guys. What should we? I don't actually know what we should vote here. So, what to ask? One, two, or three. Can I trust Ruby? Is Paul okay? How will this end? You guys vote. You guys vote. You guys vote. You do Japanese video games, sub two. It's probably better that way. How will this end kind of covers the first two? True? But also, I don't know. Does it? I don't know. You guys vote on, on what we should ask the seer. Seer. Seer is such a funny word. Currently two. Is Paul okay? You guys are worried about Paul? I have like no emotional con connection to Paul at all. He's just like... The same as other people who die in this game. <laughs> Paul at all. It's true. You don't care about Paul. I think Paul's dead. Actually, no, he might not be. But the end is probably going to... W w him being alive or not is going to be dependent on how well we play the game. I think. He's probably dead already because we probably made the wrong choices already. I don't know. Like getting Morgan in trouble... Sorry, I was just running the battle in the background. I didn't put it on screen. I apologize. Okay, so we're going to go with one. Can I trust Ruby? All right, that's going to be it. Was it because I was surrounded by your head skins? No. No, I didn't even look. Let's not get into Beatles conspiracies. You don't have any leads at all on if Paul is dead? Or what? Let's see. Can I trust Ruby? I see. I do sense something about the two of you. Let me consult the cards. Oh, that was quick. The High Priestess. Oh, Priestess. The High Priestess. Temperance. Queen of Cups. Enigmatic and unpredictable. If you earn trust in each other, you will not fail. Hopefully this has been insightful for what's to come. I won't keep you any longer. Stars and spirits guide you.
looks like this is another running in circle games. Um, we know that Paul probably was possessed and that now he was taken by something. Okay, hold on. Let's listen to her next audio. Rook, I have more info on Morgan. Okay. Rumor has it that Myra Tech has become a target of corporate espionage. Oh. And they're pinning it on her. What? When the story comes up, this will all clear up. I'm pretty sure they'll all read it and... The story won't fix this. What I'm trying to say is... You were right. We're almost at the end of it, okay? You don't have to put up with me any longer. I guess that was her apologizing? Um, Ruby, you're not gonna believe this. Someone's excited. You won't believe where I am either, but I'll wait. Sounds like you're about to burst. Tell me, the stars or spirits, whatever they, whatever, wait, tell me, the stars or spirits or whatever tell you anything, oh, okay, that's, okay. I see what she's trying to say. Did the stars or spirits or whatever tell you anything good? Uh-huh. Hard to explain, but Jeff's dead. The figure in the video isn't human. Duh. There's a new lead, Amy, an artist who worked with the council. Sounds familiar. That partnership caused a lot of controversy. It blindsided everyone because of how pro Stone Creek she was. After, well, you don't work with the council unless you're getting something in return. But that's old news. How's this relevant? Uh, Karen said Paul had files and Amy at home. Uh-oh. That can only mean one thing. Paul's got his con conspiracy board up. It'll be worth looking at what he's collected on her. Don't worry, Rook. Paul's house shouldn't be a problem. Amy is missing, too. She is. There weren't any reports mentioning her. I figured she was laying low after news of her council work backfired. Oh, news of her council work backfired. If she's been missing since last year, Rook, Amy could be one of the first people missing. The timeline tracks. Okay, yeah, this is solid. Uh, Jeff's dead. Let's let her know that. Shit, Paul's video was the last time he was seen alive. Mm-hmm. Yep. That thing that pulled Jeff, it had him in the office. Why wait? Why him? Karen said it was using Jeff to inflict his disease. Disease? You mean his obsession with the symbol? By that logic, Jeff was, what, exposing others to it? Duh. Until he was taken and left another one behind. God, is that how it spreads? Each case connects to a symbol? Okay, yeah, figure in the video isn't human. And summoning spell. Uh-huh. I'm trying to keep an open mind, but my imagination has its limits. Some kind of monster is to blame for all the missing people. Are you sure she isn't just, she isn't using this as a weird metaphor like Paul does in his writing? Karen called it a simulacra. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it has a name. Did Karen tell you how we can defeat it? No? Just the gory details on its spookiness. Stone Creek is ruled on superstition. Tragedy strikes. People point to the Beldam's curse. They accept it. Move on. Everything stays the same. Look where it's gotten us. There's no justice in that. No real action or resolution. I'm sick of it. Sorry, Rook. If there's a monster, Stone Creek made it up. Uh, where's your head at, Ruby? It matches up the evidence so far. Karen was telling the truth? I don't doubt her sincerity, but her beliefs blur the message, that's all. I expect to hear some weird stuff, but infected symbols? Monsters? If it is supernatural, I'll send Karen a lengthy apology. Let's keep this in the peripheral until we get more evidence. All roads lead to Amy. Can you guess where I am now? Uh, are you with Paul? Mm, no, but it's the closest thing to him. I'm at Paul's house. It's out there, all right. Okay. Oh, okay. Paul's house. Modest houses in a peaceful neighborhood. 
for anyone looking to call Stone Creek home. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, we have more mail. Um, from Vanguard to Paul. Thank you for your continued support of Vanguard Homes. Blah, blah, blah. Click the link to download the latest build. Sorry, my dog. Uh, I don't want to download the latest upgrade for the security on his house just yet because Ruby's in the house and I don't want to get her in trouble. So we're going to hold off on that. What's this? Oh, are you sleeping on the floor? Is that Paul? You don't own a bed? You sleep on the ground? Oh, look, there's like symbols appearing. Wait, were those there at the start? Yo, that lamp is sus. Why is he sleeping like that? Oh no, the symbols weren't there at the start. That's crazy. They like appeared over time. I almost thought that I just didn't see them. <laughs> Alright. Cool, creepy video of Paul. Um, more symbol speculation? Some initial thoughts about the symbol. Listen up, me. We Back when the crop circle would be fair game. Except she's never had a symbol associated with her in all my research. A familiar, yes. A flower, check. Yeah, we listen to this. Yep, but a symbol? Okay, wait, what's our, what's our media? What are we missing? Is it... I've been this? studying the story of the Beldum for many years and I never thought I'd ever need to look into how to stop her. In light of recent events, I've been diving deeper into her origins, hoping to find some sort of weakness. I've been scouring Atlas's social media for any leads and, and something caught my attention. There are small mentions here and there about what is known to be the true Beldum. What is the true Beldum? Is the current narrative about her wrong? I, I need to find out. I don't have time to trace every single source. I I need to pick carefully. Okay. Huh. Okay, that's what we needed to listen to. What's the fisherman and pirates? I... I don't know. Is that a thing? Also, is kind of looks like pirates is done. So let's let's actually end that and then go to the next one. Is it like an enemy or is it like someone you can please? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Oh, oh, what did she send us? All right, his house. Found it when I was snooping through the secretary's desk. Let's just say she conveniently left it open on her computer, under a folder, under another folder, and her work email. Uh, what's the inside like? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make Ruby feel bad. I think she already feels bad. Let's just, let's just be helpful. Oh, interesting. I wish I could tell you, but I haven't gotten that far. From the outside, it's super boring. The place is locked up pretty tight. I can't find a way in. Normally I'd just make a new entryway, but I don't want to cause unnecessary suspicion. I'd like to take my time once we're in. Uh, this is where I come in, I, su I assume. From out here, I can see that Paul's house is operated by Vanguard Homes. It's the new smart house home system. If I remember correctly, Vanguard has an app that lets you control things remotely from your fall. Oh, phone. <laughs> Catch my drift. Uh, loud and clear, I'll look around. I know exactly where to go. You never fail me, Rook. 
Thanks. I need a raise. I sent you his address earlier so Atlas could sink it and perhaps that opened up something new. I'll stay here on standby, trying not to look suspicious and look like I live in a triangle-shaped house. Alright, so we have the mail from Vanguard and we click this. Downloading. New app is unlocked. Front door. Unlock. Ruby says, all right, it's open. Achievement unlocked, home invasion. Okay, system. Oh, you can like, can't see anything in storage. Kitchen. Oh, you can move the camera around? Whoa, this is really cool actually. Can't go to the bathroom? Can't see anything in storage. And bathroom doesn't work. Let's go back to living room. I feel like that's like the front door there. Yeah, I want a camera in the bathroom. Why not? Oh, what's this? <laughs> Wash the dishes. What are you doing, Paul? Who are you yelling at? Oh, oh. Who are you just throw your book at? You just like... What? Wait, aww, I'm just gonna cut out there, lame. All right. All right, it's open. Say, why don't we do this together? See what Paul has in store with us. I can do a video call. Hello? Oh. Hello? Are you seeing this? Oh, Damn reception. So this is where Paul lives, eh? Eh? <laughs> Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. It's that speck on the wall. What the? Why'd it get so loud? What's that on the wall? What's that on the ceiling? I don't know. I said what's on the wall. I don't know what was on the ceiling. Did we even see the ceiling? Must be what controls the security system. I better not mess with this. Yeah. Don't want to trigger any alarms. Wait, what was on the ceiling? that on the ceiling is that a camera mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah that's Paul all right always worrying that someone is out to get him kitchen over there looks like it let's check it out the cameras right okay okay in the kitchen i guess no one's around to clean this up yeah we talked about that already it's not even dishes it's just boxes he doesn't he doesn't even throw dishes in the i sink. know where to pee if i need to hmm that's why they call him paranoid paul Wow, River. <laughs> wow. Why does he throw boxes in the sink? Uh, sticker on the kettle. I think this is one of those smart appliances where you control with your phone. I think I saw this on the TV too. A, a kettle I that if you it's all connected. 
A kettle that you control with your phone? Why? Check what's behind the door. It looks like there's like a padlock on it. Oh, this door. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Oh, Paul, don't even think about it. Turn on the light. Turn it on, turn on the light. Yo, 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 you did not check out the storage room. Maybe we should go upstairs. She didn't, she didn't even look in the storage room at all. I can't shake the feeling someone's watching me. Mm. I mean, someone other than you. Mm -hmm. Heading up. <sighs> so steep. Who the hell built this place? Paul. Oh, here we are. Oh, so this camera is upstairs too. Oh. Paul? Hi, Aurelia. Uh, did you see anything? I don't think so. Hello? Paul, if you're here, I swear to God. Oh, hmm. he's drawing the symbol. Working where you sleep, huh? Well, I'm guilty of that sometimes. Oh, the radio has it too? This like 70s radio has the, the sticker? something under the mattress. Let's check that. I don't know why the volume gets so loud when we're between scenes. What's this? Yeah, did this look like work to this you? This is the symbol. Yeah, it, it's everywhere. Ruby. Did you draw these? Why? Paul was infected. Okay. D Paul, don't even think about it. Yeah, that was a funny one. Check out the dom document by the box. Okay. That is so loud. Check out the document by the box. Perks of working in a tech company. Using their home security system for free. He must be scared. He rarely puts his faith in technology. I think there's another room. Hmm. There's yeah, a very let's thin, check that out. A very thin mattress where he sleeps. Wait, how do you get to that room? Is there another staircase? What kind of house is this? Whoa. This must be the balcony. Why is it padlocked? <laughs> so much for security. Oh, it's not padlocked. <gasps> what the? Hmm. It must be my imagination. Seriously, who built this place? Yeah, what kind of house is this for real, though? What is this? Jackpot. Jackpot. Somebody's been doing their homework. Huh. It's like kind of a cool house. Why is it so blurry? It started <sighs> here. Finally. Something I can work with. Is it something you can work with? Holy cloudy. What's on his laptop?
Ruby. Ah, what do we have here? She's like, let me just hack Ooh. into the system. Okay, maybe I should come back to this later. Huh. <laughs> you think the truth is hidden here? I'm taking this. Looks important. Oh, dude, put it in something. Don't just stick it in your purse. All right. Okay, let's check out the board. Hmm. He's been tracking all the cases. It started is here. This? Amy. Is she the whole reason for this whole mess? Whole reason, I whole mess? I think I know who this is. Oh. Let me get back to you on that. This, I think I know who this is. Eee, if I poke it harder, I'll know. Right. Huh? Oh no. What is that sound? What? What's going on? Oh no. Oh no, are we gonna have to save Ruby? Shit! No, 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 no. I heard something in the balcony. I think he's trying to... Hello? Hello? Fuck. Uh... Yeah, there's definitely something in the balcony. Should I, should I tell Ruby? Ruby. Ru Ruby. This is live. Oh, oh, shite. Oh, hold on, hold on. Shit, shit, shit. Brooke, tell me you're still there. I swear, I'm going to haunt you if you abandon me like this. Ruby, I don't think you're alone. Oh god, oh god. Could it be? Could it? This is going to sound crazy, but I think it's the Beldum. I saw it too. The loud VHS tapes are back. Ha, that's a relief. At least I know I'm not seeing things. It's strange. I can feel its presence. There's this pressure in the air. It makes me dizzy. It's close. Brooke, I think it's in the next room. I'm stuck. What can I do? We should not tell her to get out because we know that it's there. Should we switch cams and see? I'm scared to switch cam- Oh. Oh, it's still there. Okay, it's still there. No, 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 no. What can I do? You? Oh, yes, Rook, you. Before the connection dropped, I remember seeing Vanguard sync to Paul's, Paul's phone. Do you have access to his CTV, oh, CCTV system? Um... Synced as soon as the Beldum entered the house. Okay, I'm going to try something. Help me out here. No. Check if the Beldum is still in the balcony. Okay. It is. It's definitely still on the balcony. Right? Oh, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And the lounge? And it's in the lounge? Oh, this is the spooky shadow with the hands. Okay, oh no. It wasn't in the study. But it's also in the living room? What was the what? You? <laughs> Ruby's in, in the study. At the tippity top floor. It wasn't in the study with her. Okay. Well, what did you see? It's everywhere. Wait, is it on the balcony still? Oh, it's not on the balcony anymore. 
So it's in the living room. Okay. I think it's trying to do something with the phone. It's in, let's just tell her it's in the living room. Good, good. It works. I called Paul's landline to see if it would react, and it did. Now we know it can be lured into other rooms. Too bad there aren't phones in every room. How can we, how else can we lure it? Oh, the kettle and the other thing. The kettle and the radio. Ruby's a goner? No, no, no. On my way up, I noticed that some appliances were tagged with the Vanguard home system icon. How convenient. You might have control over them in the app. The security camera feeds are there too. You have eyes everywhere. I think you can find a safe path for me and lure the beldam into different rooms so I won't be caught. Don't worry, I'll get you out. I trust you, Rook. You can do this. I mean, you survived me so far. Thanks, Ruby. I trust you too. Going for that good ending. To get myself out? Yeah, I'm ready to haul ass. Make sure to survey all the cameras before you make your decision. One more thing. Whenever the beldam moves, it seems to interfere with the signal here. So don't start distracting it until you're sure that's where you want it to be. Once there's a clear path, shoot me a text. The front door is a clear choice. Or I could try to try and jump off the balcony. No, 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 no. Let me have a look first. Oh, and my zipper is oh, on this. Germs. Oh no! Wait, I can do the thing. Hold on. Want to see my penis? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> germs, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Me reading that like Ruby's not scared at all. <laughs> Welcome, raiders. We're playing Simulacra Three. And we're trying to guide our coworker out of a scary, scary time with scary ghosty. Okay, so it's still in the living room, technically. If we can get her to, like, wait. Toggle lights. Oh, I see. Thank you for the follow, but I just banned you. Han Salso, thank you for the follow. My penis is back? Yeah, it's back. Jerms, how was your stream? What were you up to? Thank you for the raid. Uh, attic. Okay, this is where he sleeps in the attic. She needs to come back to the attic, so... As long as it's not moving. Like, it's staying in the living room, right? So if we can get her... To like the lounge, I don't know. You accidentally rage quit Elden Ring, like accidentally, or like. Big boy out in the desert. Oh, you mean knock off, knock off Ganon? Radon, how are you? Oh, you're at Radon already. Radon took me quite a few tries. If you're, if you have a melee build, Radon is gonna be like really freaking hard to kill. Knock off Ganon. <laughs> You gotta summon the homies. You gotta summon all the all the homies. It's a long day. I'm in danger of dropping my phone on my face, so going to sleep. Good night, pirate. I hope you have a good rest. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a good day tomorrow. Maybe a little bit less tiresome. And it was sweet hearing about your story about um the, the neighbors that took you in. That's crazy. <laughs> it's very cool though. Bleed centric dexterity build. 
he one or two shots you? Yeah, it's, it's rough. It's rough. Yeah, it's a rough fight for sure. Wait, what's this? Steer clear of Woodridge Lane and Fulton Street. Some roads are closed. Okay. Just make the call and I'll do what you say. Okay, so wait, we're gonna we're we need to lure it into a room. So it's still in the living room, right? Um uh, we can't lure it to the storage room, right? Where 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 are we supposed to lure it? Yeah, I, I say come back to it. Show some finesse, Lulu? I don't know. <laughs> exactly, Bonnie. Uh okay, so so let's try and lure it lure it to the kitchen. Are you sure? No. Because if she's on the third floor, good night, papaya. If she's on the third floor, she has to come down the balcony. Oh, wait, we can lure it to the attic because she doesn't have to go through the attic to get downstairs, right? Right. So let's lure it to the attic. This is the only room that she doesn't need to go through, right? Head back to the front entrance. I think that's right, right? Because it's not in the living room, not in the kitchen, balcony to the lounge. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. Oh my god, I almost clicked to the balcony because it was too slow to load up. <sighs> oh god. Oh god. I'm scared. Did we just kill Ruby? Oh god, oh god. It's up the stairs over there. Um. Come on, Ruby, get downstairs. Get downstairs, hurry. Okay, in the kitchen. Ruby? Oh, I just saw her run by. Come on, Ruby. But Ruby saw the symbol. <gasps> the door is locked? Clean the sink before you leave, Ruby? I'm in the clear now. The damn front door is locked. Security system must have triggered a lockdown. Who knew this place was a fortress? Looks like I'm stuck again. Um, not to lurk. No, that's okay. Thank you so much for the raid, germs. I hope you have a good night. I appreciate it. Back to the drawing board. New plan. No, this can still work. It has to. The house is on lockdown. Let's think this through. Can I unlock it? We explored the rooms earlier. Do you remember if there was anything useful to get me out? Rope? 
and a vanguard manual. The rope, I assume, is to leave out through the balcony. I don't know. Should we choose rope or manual? Let's make sure that it's still in... It's in the kitchen? Oh, shit, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get it back to the attic. Oh, I can't? Can I not aggro it anywhere else? I can't aggro it away. Mm. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, it, the, the storage had the rope. The Vanguard manual was in the attic. Um, I feel like if we lead her out the way of the, the balcony, she'll like somehow get injured. I remember seeing a vanguard manual. It was on the floor in Paul's attic. There should be instructions to reset the system and end the lockdown. That would unlock the front door. Didn't you find some rope? Lure it to the storage? I don't think we can. In the storage room, yes. There were yards of it, long enough for me to scale down the balcony. Fingers crossed, my knots hold. It's your choice. I'm good as long as the path's cleared. Give me a minute to look. I'm starting to think that the fourth cup of coffee was a mistake. My nerves are frayed. Ooh, I'll be fine. Ready for your cue. Dude, you're about to die. Why are you talking about needing to pee? You need to let me, let me do my work. All right, um, I think we need to lure it to the study. I can't lure, it. there's nothing in the storage. We can't, it's just pitch black in here. So we can't lure it here. If we lure it to the study, she can get the manual from the attic. And then we can unlock the front door. Okay, it's in the attic. Let's let her know. Oh wait, the Vanguard manual was in the attic? Oh shit. I guess we have to go with the rope. Oh shit, I didn't- I fucked up. Oh no, I fucked up. Okay. Get the rope in the storage. On it. Oh god. Yeah, Ruby, there's a bathroom you can use. Oh my god, why is she running like that? It can hear you. Oh. Oh no. Okay, get this get the rope, Ruby. Oh no. Did she just shut herself in the storage room? I'm okay. We're good. It's dark here and dusty. A little bit creepy. What does Paul need mannequins for? Never mind, I have the rope. Need to make my way to the balcony something. Okay, okay. And scale down. I'm ready to get out of this hell house if you are. Almost there, okay? This is the final stretch. It's all you, Rook. I'll check it one last time. What's the call? Okay, let's check. Where is it right now? Is it still on the third floor? Oh no, it's in the lounge right now. Okay. It's in the lounge, so we gotta get it out of here. Slammed doors. <laughs> Let's get it down to...
The living room? That's the only way for her to get to the balcony. At least I feel like the safest. I mean, we could get we could get into the study on the third floor. Oh wait, we could have gone gotten the manual. Oh, we could have gotten it. It was right there. Oh no, I'm a dummy. Okay. Wow, I really am a dummy. Okay. Let's do let's do the living room. I think. Yeah. Let's do the living room. Okay, it's here. Uh moved quick. Run, Ruby, run. Oh, it just switched us right to the balcony? Ruby? Ruby? Oh my god, I hope that not holds. Uh, why, why does it look like the rope is no longer taut? Oh, she made it out. Oh, my. Rook, I made it out. That was a close call. Is the Beldum still after you? Don't think so. I'm a f I'm far away from Paul's now. It can't reach me. Really? That quick? You really pulled through for me, Rook. Even after I was such a jerk to you. About Morgan, the story, everything. I'm sorry. Apology accepted, Ruby. <laughs> I've blinded myself for so long. Not anymore. All I'm saying is, it feels good to be able to rely on someone. Thank you, Rook. All right. For saving my ass back there and for calling me on my shit. We're partners if if you'll have me. Oh, okay, we're partners? Yeah, yeah, let's be partners. Like, relationship? Like, boyfriend-girlfriend? Like... Hmm? Hmm? Can I use the rope? Hmm? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> me too. I guess we're stuck together, Rook. We're almost at the end. The Beldum is real. I mean, what the hell? Back at the house? There was the sick satisfaction. I could feel the people she took. Trophies now. I don't know if Stone Creek can survive this. Howdy, partner. Uh, Bellum's getting stronger. She has, she's had the advantage of centuries. Or maybe it's her victim she's drawing power from. Speculation can only get us so far. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Who's this? Is this Amy? Amy, the source. A mural artist. Paul thinks she's the source of the Beldum. And the truth. Apollo, thank you for the lurk. What's on the CD? I'd tell you if I could play it. That'd be for me to find out. You're on the photo. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, I'm on the... F okay, I thought she was saying that's me in the picture, and I was really confused. She's telling me that I'm supposed to investigate the photo? This is Amy. Paul had her up on his evidence wall, if you remember. A shame we were ambushed before I found her connection to this. Hmm. He told me once that he stores a digital copy of all his physical evidence. How convenient. Um, I haven't found anything that mentions her yet. She's on our radar now. Paul spent a lot of time on his phone book typing. I didn't understand it then. He must have a, he must have repurposed the app. Find the contact under Amy. See what you find. In the meantime, I'm going to find a way to play the CD. Check back later, Rook. Oh, okay, let's find Amy. Oh, there you are. Convenient. Contact incomplete. 
Fill in the necessary fields to properly save this contact. Uh, Amy, the source. Oh, wait, here? Uh huh. Follow the art. Dacosta Community Center, Seer Antiquities, Greenfields Park. Acosta Community Center. Oh, that. There. There. Hi, 100 player. How are you? <laughs> that was cozy. So then, uh, okay. Community Center, Sierra Antiquity. And then, what was the last one? Oh, crap. I forgot. I forgot. Greenfields Park. I thought it was a park, but I wasn't sure. Okay, there. There and then the park is uh there. Okay. Connect. No? Okay. Hmm. Really? Did I do it wrong? No. Huh. Huh. Mm. Okay. Oh, wait. Maybe we just use... Sorry. Maybe we have this. So, upload this to here. Oh. Oh, no. We do need her full name. Hope my Friday's going great. It's going well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, did Karen tell us her name? Amy. Okay. We asked, who's Amy? No, we didn't find it. We didn't find out Amy, Amy's last name. So maybe if we read. Uh, no. No. Okay. So your antiquities and Greenfield Park. Is there something in the surfer that we need to find? Mm. Huh. Let's see. Stephanie's no no, no. it's gonna be Stone Creek Library? I oh, know it's just that one thing. No. Is there a control F? <laughs> Any mention of Amy here? I don't think so. I didn't read this because it was so long. I haven't read Paradox Hour at all. Let's see. Oh wait, hold on. We have to um we have to redo. Everything to be nighttime, or this needs to be nighttime. There we go. Wait. Can we call her? Let's try to call Karen. No? No. Crap. What is Amy's name? Um, anything on here? No. Oops. So much social media to go through. See your antiquities. Um, we'll seize operations? Oh no. Oh! <gasps> Hmm. Speak easy. Okay, I'm not seeing like any mention of Amy.
You'd think that it would be like something. Oh, wait a second. There's something on the map. The Echo Lounge. Good food, booze, and company. Great. Um, <laughs> and nothing about Amy in the description of this place. Hmm. Call Karen. I tried. It did, and it didn't pick up. It, it just didn't pick up. Um... Wait, the Costa Community Center, Sierra Antiquities, and Greenfields Park. Maybe it's in the pictures. We ought to find... Okay, so it's Sierra Antiquities. Hmm. I don't see anything on this picture. On square. The Echo Lounge. No. The angel start. I kind of lost. Huh. What am I looking for? I'm looking for Amy's full name. And like the clue is the DaCosta Community Center. Notes, follow the art. DaCosta Community Center, Sierra Antiquities, Greenfields Park. Amy, checking data, no matching data file. Okay, so we need all the information. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on, let's do that. Huh, so I wonder what, what we need to look for right now. Like, I'm not sure if the notes are a clue for where we're meant to be looking. Or what? Um, let's see. Follow the art. See something on the web? Let's find it. Art. Mm. Could this be one of the arts? Yeah, Greenfield. Last place Josie Barton was seen. Oh, can't believe what she just she did was stare at this ugly wall. Can I like make the picture bigger?
Would that be in my like photos? Let's see. Is that picture in my photos? Probably not. Let's see anyways. Nope. Okay. So we have a photo of a fox. Oops, not that. I'm curious. Oh, Beldum's not there anymore. Maybe it's fox. Okay, so we have fox. Um, this is the next picture we have of seer antiques, but there's another picture of seer antiques. Oh, no, it's the echo lounge. There's this picture, oh no, of seer antiquities, but I don't understand what, oh wait, what, 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 why is it doing this, what? Amy's name. Um, no answer. How, what? Hmm. Big wheelchair ramp, thanks to everyone who signed. Is there a picture of that wheelchair ramp? April's the date could be the middle name. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, man, really? The battle? So, let's see what we're looking through here. Oh. I'm gonna turn off music. There we go. So I was looking through my media really quickly to see if there was like anything we might have somewhere. Um like we have all these weird pictures in our phone, well, in Paul's phone, rather. Um, light Boutique, General Store, oops, yeah, exit. Uh-huh, okay, so no, we don't really have anything useful here. This? Marbella? What is Marbella? What's that mean? Amy, April, and then Seer? I don't know. I don't know. No. Okay. Was her name not even Amy? Um. What could we be missing? Okay, this is the park. The Greenfields picture? Yeah. I see go straight, and then I see, like, a GH over here. Josie Barton? Could her last name be Barton? Or maybe Coyote? Because that's a coyote, apparently.
Why does it give us three clues? Like, we know her first name. The Costa Community Center, Seer Antiquities. I'm going to try... Let's try Barton. Check the green fields picture with the trees. Okay. Oh, we'll try Josie just to just to try one more thing before we leave here. No. Okay. Huh. A picture with the trees. Okay, hold on. Amy might not be her actual name. I don't know. Okay, this is like a someone mad because homeless people are sleeping on benches. Um, hmm. right, it would make them make sense. The first clue is the DaCosta, um, place. There's a Dorothy. Wait, did you see a Dorothy? In the park? Oh, Dorothy the the Bard? Hmm. I, w I don't know. Like, it feels like it should be, like, referencing the actual picture. I don't know. Follow the art. What's the Costa one? Um, I think that one's like further down. Okay, we have after a year of petitioning, finally installed a wheelchair ramp. Is Amy doing the the graffiti style art? No, I think she did murals. She did murals is what it said. Do you know if there's anything else from DaCosta community? Mm. No. <gasps> oh, wait. Oh, oh, yo, this is what we're looking for. Deleted user. Greenfields Park, and it has Yusuf at the end. Miriam, something Miriam Yusuf, Abina, Abina Miriam Yusuf. Oh, we just had to scroll down. No, uh, why is it recognizing my controller? Hold on. Let me type Abina, Miriam, oh, Miriam, Yusuf, oh gosh, Yusuf, and put this, there we go, what, Abina is wrong. What? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. What did we see? I thought it said a Bina. Was it a Bima?
Oh, Adina. Oh. Adina. Okay. I can't read, apparently. Okay, contact complete. Searching for file. What kind of phone works like this? Archived link? Oh, we got so much stuff. Amy. Home about blog. Hey, doesn't that look like the beldam that we saw in Paul's house? Where is this painted? Yeah, phone book's getting too smart. Saved as Amy Ong. <laughs> I know. True, at least it's not the same as Death Watch Mysteries. <laughs> can we click on this? No. Copyright. Amy, 2022. You can reach me on Camara. Hmm. Adina Miriam Yusuf, or more widely known as Amy, is a Stone Creek-based mural artist whose work works explore the themes of community and transition. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Okay. Blog. Our last revival. I think it's time that I step away from my path as an artist. While it's been a validating experience traveling around, meeting interesting people who took a shine to me, there's the sadness I can't soothe. The joy that comes from finishing a product. Blah, blah, blah. Can I read more? Oh, no. Is there anything? Hmm. Oh, a final mural dedicated to Stone Creek's eternal muse, the Beldum. She doesn't see her as a, as a villain. Okay, let's see what the other posts say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The alleys come alive. Okay, mistake. Working with the council was a mistake. I thought it would get, help me get back to Stone Creek. I believe I've betrayed everyone. Okay, no. What's happening to me? Well, maybe I should click this. Okay. Question mark? What's happening to me? There's a shape, an image that's made me its host. No matter what I do, it won't go away. It's been weeks and I see it as clearly as I did the first time, a fixture in the middle of my vision, perfectly aligned whenever I shift my gaze, whenever I move my head, even when I close my eyes, it's there, watching me. Was it always there? I started to see it out in the world, dancing on people's faces, floating in text, melding in nature, this shape, it's camouflaged into everything. Is it a natural part of it all or is it a visitor? I don't understand. I've tried to capture it on paper, but it's strange. What I draw doesn't capture what I see. It's different every time. It's not shifting. No, it's still clear. But why can't I recall it? Okay, okay, okay. She keeps drawing it. Cool. Mm. It's, oh, you. The Beldum. Is it you? Could it be true? I see you now. I have you. Is this what you want? Wait, wait, come back. Talk to me again. Sing to me. Don't leave my sight. Stay. Stay, stay. I don't think it's actually the beldum. I actually think it's like the simulacrum, like, affecting her. Let's go to that last one. I was lost and you sensed my need. I followed your path and you kept me from falling. This is redemption. I will be heard. You need a form, a new body, a new face, a true face. I will do this for you. I will bring you back. Let's download. And we have a new video, I assume. All right, we have a lot of uh, two new contacts. Excuse, Eric and Gwen. Wow, Gwen has a sexy picture. Where's where's their text? Look at their. Who are you? Whoa, whoa, wee, whoa. Oh. Paul Castillo, this is Eric Shaw. I work for the Stone Creek Town Council, sir. You didn't have any. You didn't have to drag my name into it. I just write the emails. That's not why I'm reaching out. I don't give a damn about sides. Hell, if there's a chance you can do something, I want help. I think I can. Gwen. Coolest name ever. 
No, where's the Paul who sent me that petty email? I want to talk to him. Oh. Oh, my phone? Oh, I didn't fully connect my, my controller. He doesn't come out very often. Eric, just tell me. When Amy was working with you, did you ever see her paint this? Her voice. Yes, actually, when things went to shit, it broke her in more ways than one. Amy became real focused on that motif. She designed everything around it, which, of course, deviated from the council's vision. I think they told her off, but she didn't stop. She just got sneaky and fit it wherever she could, in the details or off to the side. I saw what she was doing, but it wasn't any of my business, so... What? How many are there? Beats me. It worked all over her. Oh, they worked her all over the place. It's like a fun little game every time I spot one. Everywhere, then. It's everywhere. Nowhere to hide. Sir, if you're talking to yourself, I like to be left out of it. Better give Gwen a cool voice, okay. Or was that message highlighted? Um, he's just saying that they that she put the signs all over town. Stoner Eric voice. Is this the edible kicking in? No, I just didn't know what voice to give him. I just gave him a voice. I just chose one instantly. <laughs> I have to go, Eric. There's something I need to check. Do me a favor and don't look for it. Thanks for your time and sorry I was petty. I'm over it. Petty Paul needs to come out more. He sounds like fun. No, this conversation never happened. Wait, why did Eric contact me? Was he trying to flirt with me or something? Like, what was the purpose of of him reaching out to me? He Oh, he just wanted to help? Okay. All right, let's see what Gwen says. Hi, can I ask you a few questions about Paloma? What, what voice should I give her? Who is this? Only the police have this number. Who are you? Please, I just need to clarify some things about Paloma's case. Leave me and my family alone. My sister and I didn't get along, but that doesn't mean I was involved in her disappearance. <laughs> you have me all wrong. I'm not interested in that conspiracy, and I don't believe you would hurt her. You get one question, so make it count. When did she go missing? February 19th, 2022. It was her birthday. I'm trying to give her an accent. She asked me to drop, up, drop her off at the LC bus stop. Should have just drove her there to the whole way. I'm sorry about Paloma, Gwen. Yeah, well, you can do me a favor and don't pass this number around. <laughs> oh, no. Uh... I'm doing a great job with the voices. Daniel, how are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> Tell the others, wherever you found it, that it doesn't work anymore. You got it. Okay. Can we do a shout out for Daniel? Guys, Daniel does a million horror games and you should check him out. All right. So who who was Paloma? Is that someone that was someone who went missing? I guess we're going to need to know. The date that she went missing. We have more, more stuff. Media. Um, the simulacra is new. I'm gonna dodge spoilers on this, but wanted to know if you like it. Hmm. I don't know. I I, I kind I think I wrote about it in the. Did I write about it in? The Discord? If I didn't, I'll give you my thoughts so far. Um, oh, I didn't. Or did I? So, so, so far, you, I'm assuming you've played all of the Simulacra games. And in all the games, I, I said this before on stream, you, you have like an empathetic connection to the person whose phone you have. I played one, I didn't like two. I wasn't a huge fan of two. One was great. Um, we also, I also played the Pipe Dreams one. Um, and in terms of like building that empathetic connection to the person who's missing, 
I really feel like they haven't done that in this one. This one really feels like I'm just investigating an SCP as like a a small time journalist. Like it, it feels like a lot of lore reading and very, very little voice acting. There was a cool bit somewhere else, but yeah, you just don't have that like connection to where you're like really wanting to save the person and figure out what happened to them. The premise of this one is that the person whose phone you have, he purposefully like gave it to someone before he went missing. And there's not a lot of like getting to know him as a person where in the previous games you get all those videos of like all all like the character like, oh, I'm trying to become a veterinarian or like whatever. Yeah. And, and so this one, I don't know, it's just not as quirky and fun as the others, in my opinion. I'm still going to finish it because we started it and I feel like we're almost there. But yeah, not my favorite. Definitely went in a, a more serious direction while still like trying to keep some of the quirk, but not quite doing it right. So have we listened to all the Jeff files? Find yeah, yeah, we have. Finding Amy and the simulacra are new. So let's let's listen um, to this uh... first. Sorry, I, I can't seem to find the words to explain all of this. It's it's bigger than I could ever imagine. This this discovery changes everything. Mm -hmm. For what it's worth, this is not the work of the Beldum. There's there's something else behind her, and I'm afraid it's much worse. Oh yeah, we know. Simulacra, that's what it is. A predator in every sense of the word. They're wretched, conniving things. It, it's still a simulacra, a, a follower to its own machinations. There's a pattern. It finds a strong image or digital persona, takes over it and consumes everything around it. Rinse and repeat. This one has its sights set on us. On Stone Creek. The tragic thing is we're just we're just fodder the, the, the beginning of its reach into the world. Oh. Karen, help me piece it together. There are a number of similar incidences that have happened in the past on apps like Spark and Chimera. Their hunting grounds have somehow evolved. The the, the one here, the, the imposter, deviates from the rest. It, it's attached itself to our town legend and it's using her to consume Stone Creek. Mm-hmm. Has the Beldum story been stretched so far from the truth that it's a new persona? Did we help it somehow? Did I? Those who survived these monsters did it by destroying their personas, their images. The, the Beldum is impossible to remove. She, she's a pillar of the town. Her, her story's tied to our history. We, we can't just erase her. Um, M maybe we don't make have her to. the good guy. I got it. Oh, you do? I know what to do. It, it, it's a long shot, but I think it will work. The missing aren't coming back. That fact is the same for those of us who are next. Okay. But Stone Creek will Wait. come back from this. What's your... I'll make sure of it. Wait. I've you're been studying the story of the Beldum for many years, and I never thought I'd ever... You're not going to tell us? Hold on. Strange symbols log... Log... Uh, it doesn't matter. I found her. The cause of all of this. Mm -hmm. Amy. Or should I say Adina? The cases all trace back to her. She was the first one to go missing where the symbol was involved. Her case file mentioned some kind of spell and that the scene looked ritualistic. To be sure, I went back to the studio that used to belong to her. It's long abandoned now, but it matches the descriptions. There's, there's something unsettling here. I can only describe it as residual emotions. Being there makes me feel angry. Hmm. Sad? Mm-hmm. I... I did find something else. Oh, are you gonna tell us? 
a piece of paper containing Beldum's rhyme. Oh. I think Amy summoned her. Oh no. She called on the Beldum and it answered. Bran, how are you? Nice to see you. Uh, you know Amy's that are involved in witchcraft? Okay, so... Did we listen to this? I've been studying the story of the Beldum for many years and I never thought I'd... Oh. Wait. I thought it'll pl keep playing if we go... Strange... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. okay, no, it won't. It won't. Oh. Okay. I've been studying the story of the Beldum for many years and I never thought I'd ever need to look into how to stop her. In light of recent events, I've been diving deeper into her origins, hoping to find some sort of weakness. I've been scouring Atlas's social media for any leads and and something caught my attention. There are small mentions here and there about what is known to be the true Beldum. What is the true Beldum? Is the current narrative about her wrong? I, I need to find out. I don't have time to trace every single source. I, I need to pick carefully. Okay. I I didn't really listen to what he just said, to be honest. <laughs> cool, what's this? Oh, it's Amy painting the Beldum? It's done. I have no choice. You are the only one who can help me. You were there in my darkest moment. I felt my pain, and I felt yours. <coughs> I see you all around Stone Creek. In the wind, in the sun, in the rain. Yeah, random pick of him, arms crossed and confused in a library. It's weird. Last name he knew was in grade school, so she could have been involved. Yeah, 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 possibly, possibly. Uh-huh. I know. You never left. Keep me watch so that the same betrayal you experienced can never happen again. Our stories are lost in this town. We have both been used and discarded. And you let me to this. Oh. In this form, your powers will be unlimited. This was all done in spray, spray paint? When you feel lost and all is bleak, beware the Beldum of Stone Creek. Lighten up, don't make a frown. Otherwise, like her, you will drown. I am you, and you are I. Become the image of fear. Become the symbol of pain and sorrow. Let everyone know. Achievement unlocked. Amy started it. I know that was that was not a, a super yell. Vigil for Alex Berry. Blessed day. As many of you know, beloved member of our congregation, Alex Berry has gone missing. Blah blah blah. Great. I know about Amy. From the SC Council, Stone Creek Council. Hi, I know this is an unusual request, but I need to speak to you. Oh, to speak to someone about Adina Mariam Yusuf slash Amy. It's urgent. There is a connection between her work and the disappearances going on. Oh, going around Stone Creek. A few answers is all I need, please. Oh, this is Paul. Oh, my bad. Hold on. What the? Uh, 
Oh. Oh. I saw a text that said emergency update, and I thought it was like an emergency, but it was just the underground rave being like, we changed the location of the entrance. Rave's still going till they kick us out. Anyways. Um. Okay, okay. Thank you for your question. We're not liberty to discuss any persons. Blah, blah, blah. Eric. Oh, this is Eric. Raves are so illegal and edgy. No, they're not, though. I mean, they're illegal if you're hosting them illegally. Yeah. Edgy. Mm. Oh, and my zipper is unzipped. Huh? Oh, no. Wait, I can do the thing. <laughs> Reliable. Hold thank on. you for the raid. Wanna see my penis? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Reliable. Thank you for the raid. How was your stream? What were you playing? Hi, Alexis Machine and Brutus Dammit. And reliable. What were you up to tonight? We are continuing Simulacra 3. And we're just discover discussing underground raves. <laughs> Pretty much if, like, out here at least, if, like, they catch an underground rave, the police are just like, everyone go home. And then everyone, some people, like, freak out for no reason and they, like, try to, like, sprint away. Like, no one gets arrested. They They're just like, go home, guys. Go somewhere else. <laughs> but welcome. I hope you had a good stream. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. I'm Lulu. We play scary games. That's about it. <laughs> Reply with your paraphrase to retrieve this program. Should you forget, the icons of Stone Keek Creek, Creek will guide you. You're streaming stream pirates as a viewer with your crew? Oh, what? Oh, what? I'm not even looking at stream pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Stream readers in Ravenfall. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Um, and I think I don't know how far we are, but I imagine we're we're getting to the the nitty gritty here. Apply with your passphrase to retrieve the program. Should you forget, the icons of Stone Creek will guide you. There's a a deer, a wave, a girl, and a flower, a dead flower. Home by New Devil. Um, okay. Wait, what? And then what was that other? Uh, so we have complete the, the phrase, select the four correct words. So we have a deer, so would that be... Hmm. Hold on. Discoverability is hard and you did start quite late in the season. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they'll fix that soon. It's hard because like so many people are like live who I guess have access to, to pirates but aren't running it. And unless you're like straight up streaming into stream readers and announcing to everyone that you're like running pirates people probably won't notice but but we slowly slowly crude peeps okay so we got a deer a wave a woman and a dying flower deer wave woman dying flower oh wait i have to go from there let's see deer i'm gonna put lake Wave. Oh no, that would be Stone Creek. Wave. Woman is ritual. Dying flower. Armageddon. I don't know. Is that right? Uh, that's not right. What the fuck is pirates and is there a link to join? Unfortunately, there's no like link to join mine like directly. But if you go to like the Stream Pirates website, you can 
search me and then you can join. And it's similar to stream readers, but also not similar. So I'm guessing I actually have to go to his website and go through his files and then figure out what each of those symbols means. I feel like that's that's what I have to do here. Oh. The antler beast. Mm. So would this be Stone Creek, Thrasher Lake, to so Stone Creek. I'm assuming the, the lake is the wave, right? Um, strange symbol. Oh, wait. Did I ever download this? Oh, it's already been downloaded. Um, wait a second. Lessons of the Elm. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so Beldum is going to be the woman. Right? Let's try this again. No, not that. No, uh, this. Okay, so let's go link to passphrase. Stone Creek. Lake. Beldum. Symbol? The words in quotations? Mm. I don't... I don't know if I see any words in quotations here. So the beldam is the woman. What is the antler beast? Griff Wilson. Uh, uh uh Was Griff one of the options? Oh, one of the folders had the word treasure. Hmm. Treasure, oh, Treasure Lake, oh, huh. Oh, Promise or Unbreakable? Let's try that, I don't know. So. Okay, I'll get it in a second. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. No? Oof. Okay, hold on. We have to... I think I have to write stuff down because I feel like I'm, like, forgetting. I think I'm going to write things down. So that I don't, I don't forget. Okay, so let's go back. We have a deer. A wave. A lady. 
and a flower. Um, let's go to his blog. So first let's start with the deer, which is going to be Beware of the Antler Beast. Surrounding Stone Creek. I'm not really seeing the word that that describes this. Um, hidden mine with riches. Woods are natural. Uh huh. Creature stalks me. Leave Stone Creek. Okay. The antler beast. Oh, weird. There's one more, the strange symbol, that also has like an antlered beast at the bottom. Ruby Persephone has gone into hiding. A promise. Maybe the first one could be promise? I don't know. I thought that would be... Okay, so, so now let's look into the lake. Which could be treasure. Treasure. And we'll come up with any other words that it could be. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Something about someone named Magdalena. Mm. I think the lake is treasure. Okay, and then let's look at the beldam. I mean, I think the lady one is going to be Beldum. Could be Stone Creek. I mean, we could try it. And... It could be Lake. The wave could be lake too. I don't know. I don't know. Elm beads is like promise or unbreakable. Um. Right. Okay. Well, let's try again. Let's try giving it another go. Okay, so we have deer could be promise. I don't see an unbreakable, though. That's the weird part. I'm so lost with these clues. I'm lost, too. I am, too. Um... I wish it would tell me, like, which which ones are right or wrong. So the phrase is in relation to, like, in the email we have. Reply with your paraphrase to retrieve the program. Should you forget, the icons of Stone Creek will guide you. And we have a link to Paul's blog, which references these. The question is the antler beast. Woods surrounding Stone Creek's home. Bent out of shape. Uh -huh. Stays in the woods. Yeah, so I'm like trying to sort this out, but I, I'm having a hard time. Mm 
maybe it's leave. I don't know. Cause the late, like the Mary lady was like, leave. Um, treasure is one we could try. I feel like each one can be like a few things. Well, let's come back to this. Yeah, it's a, a four-word phrase, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's just talk to Ruby. It's true. It started with Amy, and then Amy reveal. Let's see what Ruby says about this. She summoned the Beldum for revenge. Screw this. Screw all of it. Okay. Simulacra answered Amy, not the Beldum. Simulacra Beldum, it doesn't make a difference what came through. Amy wanted to punish Stone Creek. She got her wish. This could have been prevented. Paul didn't have to. I digitized the CD, Rook. You need to watch it. Show me, Ruby. Oh yeah, peen related name always drops with me. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, Ruby. Let's take a look at this. Hey, Ruby. Hey. Uh... I don't know how much time I have left. Mm hmm I hope the phone is safely in your hands and you're looking through it as I speak. Cause these... Uh, these Beldum hauntings. There's more to it. It's not a ghost or specter. It's more than that. It's something else. It's it's called a simulacra. Mm. It's weird. It's it's a manifestation of digital personas. I've got some documentation on it, and every manifestation is different. This one derives from the story of the Duldum hauntings, the one that we pass around. A, a persona that's larger than life, creating a simulacra that's more powerful than anything recorded before. Hi, Kiss. How are you? There's no stopping it. Mm -hmm. But there is a way that we could stop it from harming people. Oh, yeah? If the simulacra is derived from the stories we tell, maybe we can change the story. If we change the story, will it change the manifestation? I've got a plan. And a detailed way to execute it. You need the help of Thomas, Damien and Karen. Oh. I've hidden it inside the phone. And this video is the key to unlocking it. Why did you hide it? Why would you not make this readily available? Ruby, you... You are the voice of Stone Creek. Oh, yeah? Your disdain for the city is clear, but I... I hope you can find it in your heart to... Finish what I started. Mm -hmm. It's you. It's got to be you. Me and Rook. I mean, Ruby and Rook, who's me. Good luck. It's really mostly me. Because Ruby didn't even want the phone. She just handed it off, you know. This was on it, too. Open. The Beldum Rewrite po Protocol. The menace that is the simulacra posing as the Beldum of Stone Creek is an entity that materializes her legend into reality. The current story of the Beldum is untrue warped over time, and turning her into a malicious spirit. Yeah, Ruby just, just is sassy for us. Objective. To neutralize the simulacra, I will change the collective consciousness of the people of Stone Creek regarding the Beldum. I knew this was going to be... <sighs> By revealing her truth using Atlas. That she was a kind and gentle soul who remained at peace till the very end. But she was snuffed out due to fear and bigotry. Hopefully, by changing the Beldum story, the Simulacra will have no choice but to follow it. 
what this is what I called would happen earlier. I was like, oh, so we gotta let everyone know that the Beldum is actually nice. And what is the simulacra gonna do? Gosh. Step one. Create a backwear backwear backdoor software known as the kill switch that allows an override script to upload multiple instances of the true Beldum. The fixer known as Persephone. Done in done hidden in phone. Oh, it's done? Okay. Over, acquire the Atlas override script from Thomas. He's highly protective. This way, he has reason, a reasonable plan that can be brought, bought with the right pl- price. Okay, we need to do that. Seek advice from Karen, a mistress of the night, on how to properly prevent present the true beldum. I gave Karen a map on where I can find where where can we find remnants of the beldum in its original form. Hoping we can use it as a base to start changing the story. Earliest interpretation. Predating anything we've known and, and hidden it in my phone. The map Karen has will be the key to unlocking it. Great. Yeah, it is it's some Deadpool stuff for sure. <sighs> This stops if we change the Beldum story. The Simulacra is using Stone Creek's belief of the Beldum to grow stronger. She's part of our town's history as the villain. Reversing it is impossible. You can't change perception of a, cent- of a centuries-old legend overnight. What evidence did he have that she was a kind and gentle soul? Ruby, why don't you just release a report to everyone on the Beldum being like, Oh... Fake news. The Beldum is actually nice. A uh, few people knew about his plan. I keep wanting to say Bedlam too. I have the codes that will prevent nuclear launch, but I'm going to hide it because... Uh, fake news. Damien, Karen, and Thomas. We spoke to them earlier. Why didn't they mention it? Why didn't he ask me? No, not the point. The steps to Paul's plan is extensive. It looks like some tasks are done and some are pending. We don't have all the pieces yet. I'm sorry about Paul, Ruby. Me too. It doesn't feel real. I just keep thinking that I'll see him again and... I heard his voice at the house. There weren't words I could understand, but it felt like all of him had finally gone. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys something really quickly. I wanted to show you something um, because you know how uh, Amy was like, I see the symbol everywhere. So um, I posted this in my Discord, but I'm not sure if anyone actually watched it. So I'm going to force you all to watch it right now. Mm -hmm. We're all going to watch the thing. And I thought Don't blink. Stare at the I thought that this was like a fake thing. I thought this was fake, but it's it's real, okay? It's real. Orange heart on Michael Myers' nose because he's about to appear right next to you wherever you are. Just keep staring at the orange heart and whatever you do, don't mm-hmm. blink. I know right now you're probably thinking this won't even work. Don't the first blink. time I tried this, it scared the absolute I blink. you know what out of me, and you have to experience and this. And trust me, you will not regret sticking around until the end. If you just keep staring into the just orange stare heart, at double Myers. tap the screen, this will work. Okay, you don't seriously have to double tap the screen, but I would really appreciate it because double these illusions tap. take a while to make. Thank you. And if this works for you, make sure you share this with a friend who has to try this and follow for more crazy illusions just like after this the short countdown you're gonna look at a blank wall or up at your ceiling and keep blinking repeatedly and if you've been staring at the heart michael myers is gonna be staring back at you i mm. promise all right let's do this and if this daddy works, myers send this to a friend and follow if you're new all here. right in five four three, three two, two one now look at a one. white wall or up at your ceiling and keep blinking Let me know. okay everyone do the thing blink blink till you see daddy myers do you see him? Do you see? Did you see? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Did you see Daddy Myers? Did it work for you guys? It worked for me. Anyways, back to the game. Paul won't die for nothing. 
You sound so sure. I can't keep this from you anymore. One hundred percent how she said, sounded. Wait, what did I say? Some people want to keep things the way they are, even if it's a lie. True. Can't blink fast enough in my current state. I saw a Rick Astley instead. What? <laughs> you got Rick rolled? I can't keep this from you anymore. Rook, ever since my run-in with the Beldum, I feel cornered. Someone's watching me. They're close. I'm next, Rook. Where are you? Are you safe? It's too late for me, but it doesn't know about you, I think. Oh no, is Ruby gonna die? Oh, oh, I was mocking how she sounded. Oops. Oh no, did you did you clip it? Oh no. The face looked like Rick's, yeah, so you got you pretty much got Rick ruled. Uh I'll buy you all the time I can. If it's busy with me, then you can finish what Paul started. I have to go, Brooke. Goodbye. Uh What do I say? Karen will help, please stay. I don't know. Oh, shit. I don't know if that was, like, a big choice or... Okay, we have a new video... here. What is he writing? Paul's gone. <laughs> Sharky with the hydrate. Mm. I spoke to several people. Most of them are the elderly, more in touch with the past. I can confirm that the Beldum that we know and fear now is a false narrative. It was a yummy twisted snack. and perpetuated by the <coughs> loudest and most influential people of this town over many generations. Crap, my blog. Ah, no time for that. What is important is that all of them confirm that the true Beldum is a kind and gentle woman who, gentle despite woman. being outed and killed, kept her hopeful nature till her demise. Mm. Another thing I can confirm is that records are probably scattered around town, hidden in storage or left forgotten in obscurity, except for one. An old artist lane that was demolished and turned into a junkyard. Mm -hmm. According to them, a mural of the true Beldum can be found. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I found it! A oh. photo of the true Beldum. It's, it's real. If, oh. if I can get this out to the masses, I, I, I can change the narrative, but perhaps even encourage people to dredge the truth out in the open. Yeah. It's time to use the simulacrous nature against itself. Okay. Save Stone Creek. I've locked the photo in my phone for now. I just need to get all the other pieces ready for the protocol. I don't have much time left. Ruby, if you're listening, no. everything is here. Oh, uh, where? In this phone. Oh, in the phone. Stop this monster. Okay. Save Stone Creek. Yeah, but Ruby is like about to die. Talk to the coolest character. I want to hear her cool accent. Who, Gwen? I don't think Gwen has texted us. Uh, Surfer? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uncovering the Beldum. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what was new there, but whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I have a video for you. It's Amy. 
One moment, please. Oh, wait. What was her voice? One moment, please. Heavens, this is... Why? Um, this must be painful for you. The shock hasn't worn off yet. It's the only thing keeping me together at the moment. Amy was my friend. She was gentle. She was kind. Another gentle woman. She was angry. I've never seen her like this before. Thank you for this. I can't say it brings me peace, but their answers, at least. Is that all you wish to tell me? Do you know about the Belden rewrite protocol? It's what he call- is that what he calls it? Paul explains something like that in theory. Paul wanted some advice on stopping the curse. Amy's curse. Curses cannot be stopped. Not fully. They can be transformed into something else. <laughs> the symbol is at the center of it. If we alter the curse itself, we might be able to neutralize its effects. Repurpose it to not repurpose it not to do any harm. Uh How does that work? Aspects such as its shape and color can be modified to change its meaning. Essentially, it becomes a new message. Paul always theorized there's more to the Beldum story than what we know now. If that is true, that means the current form of the Beldum is false, and what we're looking for is the true interpretation of her. He was supposed to look for it, and I am not sure if he ever did. He sent me some sort of progress, but it looks incomplete. What did he send you? Is it sitting mixed on Steam? I'm kind of legit curious. Okay, well, the first review i recommend I, I that is here is it not recommended and um yeah it's pretty much everything i've said Oh no, I shouldn't read the reviews. Ooh. No, it's not it's not that. It's just like I just feel like oh no, I'm going to be disappointed in the end. Cuz it does kind of feel like um no. I'll 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 give my opinion when we finish the game. Map of the town with some scribbles in a few locations marked. I don't really understand it. Uh, what, what is her true form? Oops, sorry, I hit my mic. Rumors have it that she is a kind and gentle soul. Yeah, we've heard, this is like, don't time I've heard that. Even in her last days, she never saw ill of the ones who wronged her, murdered her. It's what inspired me to author the tale you found to reach me. Why not just make a new story? I don't know if we're even close. It's got to be close, right? Why not just make a new story? That would unleash more danger. Truth is what drives curses. Even warped in its current form, the anger, the sadness is based on a real feeling. But it's possible. I would need some sort of imagery, a representation of the real Beldum, to perform the ritual again. Then, the Beldum will be made into a benevolent force. Or, I can tweak the curse, redirect the Beldum to a new target. The Richardsons, the town council, and their wicked bloodline. Um, in her true form, she'll be har harmless. Redirect the Beldum towards the council. What about the others? Yeah, I feel like redirecting would be a bad idea.
That is correct. The curse will still exist. At most, people might report some ghost sightings here and there. But her presence won't be as destructive as it is now. I will make it so she only wields her will against those who've wronged her. Leave it to me. Amy is young, emotional. She unleashed her rage to the entire town. Perhaps I can remedy that. The town's owe to justice. Um... Let's just stick to the plan. You know, I've lived all my life in Stone Creek. It's likely where I'll spend my last moments as well. So much time here and I've lived most of it blinding myself to its faults. Well, I can't pretend anymore. Can't pretend that this town isn't poison. That it doesn't force people into extremes. Can't pretend blah 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 blah. Alright. Um. See, this is what I mean. Like, when I'm reading these conversations between the characters, like, like, I the characters just all seem so, bl like, boring and blah. Like, they tried to make them interesting characters, but they're also, like, like, meh. It's not on the same level as Father's Day. At least Father's Day was, like, mostly entertaining with how bad it was. I'm moving out of Stone Creek right now. Do you live in Stone Creek? Um, what if you make things worse? Okay, so she really wants to, like, direct the beldam towards the council? Um, yeah, making the Beldum a weapon won't make this make Stone Creek better. There's a chance it might. Or, oh, am I a fool? Beldum, your words, they have weight. It would be a wretched thing to use her as they have. I have the power to turn the tides of this town. Um, really? You're conflicted? Um... Amy and Paul wouldn't want more pain. Yeah. No. You're right. I let my weakness get the best of me. All right. Bless you for making me realize. All right, all right, all right. Um, doing the right thing. Okay. Transferring the document that Paul sent. Bus stop park fountain church library. Trace the past to the truth. Wait, whoa. Wait. Let's scan this. Map of Stone Creek with some locations marked where people were reported missing. It also says trace the past to the truth. Okay. Paul's version of Atlas can do that. Okay, cool. You know it would be cool if I did an audiobook? That would be cool. Look into the missing persons reports from those locations, line them up somehow? Based on when they disappeared from the oldest case to the latest. Any insight that would be helpful? Oh, well, you're familiar with three of them? Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think I got it. Mm hmm. We will succeed. Perfect. Um. All right. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. My voice in a horror game would be fun. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm in quite a, a bit of pain right now, and I'm, I'm like, uncomfortable just sitting here. 
Otherwise, I'd finish the game right now, but I am, I'm just, I need more Advil. Um, 